The road towards spiritualism and sorcery has always been dangerous. After all, it is a path far away from the road that God directs in his word, and it takes people away from the only source of life. Since it was laid out in the 19th century, spiritist philosophy has gained more prominence. There are five fundamental pillars of spiritism. First, the soul's ability to be born again, referred to as reincarnation. Secondly, the survival of the soul after physical death, also referred to as immortality of the soul. Thirdly, communication between the souls of the disembodied and incarnated, intermediaries between the material and spiritual dimensions, also referred to as mediums. Fourthly, everything someone does gets registered in a sort of a spiritual file. Anytime someone is reincarnated, what happens to them will be impacted by their good and bad deeds from their past, also known as the law of karma. Lastly, souls evolve with time, passing through the mineral, vegetable, animal, and human phases, also referred to as evolution. The Bible tells us that the idea of an inherently immortal soul is a lie of Satan. In Genesis 2 16 to 17, the Bible says, And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. In Genesis 3 4 to 5, the Bible says, Then the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. God is the author of all life, the only one who possesses inherent immortality, life cannot exist without him. In Ezekiel 18 4, the Bible says, Behold, all souls are mine, the soul of the Father as well as the soul of the Son is mine. The soul who sins shall die. Eternal life is possible only through Jesus who will resurrect the dead at a future time. In John 6 54, the Bible says, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise him up at the last day. We die once, after which follows the judgment. In Hebrews 9 27, the Bible says, And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this the judgment. There is no reincarnation and we do not have souls for we are souls. In Genesis 2 7, the Bible says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. The dead know nothing, see nothing, feel nothing. They have no part in what happens in this world. In Ecclesiastes 9 5, the Bible says, For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing, and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. In John 14 6, the Bible says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Put your trust in him, and not be deceived. Spiritism and spiritualism from a Christian perspective are more than just an opinion.